Yeah, let's see. We got the start signal, so we are booting up Ninja Village again. So, Godspeed, both messengers. And we're off! Booting up Ninja Village, the famous hardest stage of the whole speedrun of 8-bit. Brain perfect. Yeah. Will we see any uh, gap jumps here? No, we will not. So, already three second time loss for the first one. <laughs> And yeah, coming up now, learning the hardest tech of the game, the so famous called Cloud Step. Seems like both ninjas mastering that pretty well. Both are actually using lanterns, which I don't agree with since I am SS and Narga. <laughs> now here's an old guy talking and now demons are evading. It's a whole thing. Well, for getting the short hop, which is always good. And let's see actually how, how many shards will it get. I'm gonna be optimistic and say three. I would say uh, uh, two this time. And yeah, please write in the chat how many shards will we see. Four! Oh, four shards. That, that's awesome. And Damn, I, I didn't I... expect that. <laughs> I was optimistic and I said three. So that seems to be the blessed one on both sides. So four shots, two out of two on both ends. Approaching Autumn Hells now. Godspeed messengers, please take that blessing of the fire cappers with you and yeah, nail MPB or even giving them your best shot. Sure. Please so. are hoping on you. Yeah, the whole world is uh, hoping that these messengers carry the score towards the Glacier Peak. <laughs> so, both Tibus uh, on yeah, both sides approaching age or two. Both will go, I guess, for uh, yeah, bottom blocks again. Looking good on both sides. I think Shadow kind of need to wiggle around a bit, so lost a couple of seconds. Minfin touching or getting too close with the Kappa. Oh. Running into the spike pit, but I think that was not intended. It, it looked kind of weird, but I think it was not intended. But How yeah. How do you know that? How do you know that? Yeah, it was... I don't know, maybe a bit more advanced threat, but I don't know. If, but I and think Minfin wrote something that he was messing with his controller behind the scenes, so I hope that was not a weird issue. In the end, bikes are just ball pits. It's okay. So Minfin grabbing the health. Uh, let's see how the spike pit will handle both of these messengers. I hope Minfin resetted his game now. Yeah, both boosted right. That's what we want to see. RNG, let's go. And yeah, coming into the water section again. So it's... Uh, I can't count how many times I've seen this stage here. It's... Uh, yeah, autumn is something after a while. I don't think you should. It's reset hills for a reason, honestly. <laughs> it's better not to... It's better not to know. Yeah, and I think uh, Autumn also, for every runner, Autumn is always the same. So even if you nail a perfect Autumn, you're kind of never satisfied with it. And you always find some mistakes or stuff that you want to improve. And even if you have a 403, 404 Autumn, you kind of say, oh no, this was a bad Autumn. This was garbage. So yeah, we... we the tendency on Autumn is pretty high to rate every t a tiny mistake on the stage. Both, yeah, both runners approach uh, the Spike Tower meanwhile uh, pretty successfully, going into the Firefly room. Minfin missing, unfortunately, the, the last shot on the Firefly, so lose a couple of seconds here, and a Shadow touching the Kappa. That's, yeah, will cost him a couple of seconds. But yeah, as you were saying before, Autumn is actually the stage that speedrunners are the hardest on themselves on, because it's the first stage. Actually, that's my bad. Ninja Village is the hardest. Yeah. So yeah. It's... 
autumn uh, um I think autumn is as well, especially since you don't have that many tech available besides, uh, yeah, T boosting and the climbing. Um, due to that, it's even harder because you don't have many wiggle room around other tech. So you need to master the tech to have a good autumn. And on the one hand, that's a positive thing because you don't need to do as much stuff, but on the other hand, you need to nail that stuff to have good autumn. Yeah, and again, it's in the beginning, so the urge to reset is all the more stronger. And wow, both of our players are actually very rich right now, first drop. Yeah, uh, both going into the shop with around 140 shards. 130 shards are required for the shop to buy two upgrades. And we are going into Leaf Monster, Leaf Golem uh, now. I think we will not see again any scary berries here, so it should be a solid one cycle from both sides. Yeah, no problems last time. There should be this time, right? Yeah. Last time looked pretty damn well good. And this time looks like no the problems same. at all. And I think Minfim is kind of a bit on PB course if if I interpreted his uh, timer right, because his timer was not red compared to Shadow. But it can also be just a setup uh, styling issue, so let's see. I think it's actually using linear splits, since uh, their uh, ah, APPB is actually lower than that. Ah, okay. Meshing <laughs> buttons, fuck, yeah. Catacombs, um... Last time we saw a couple of mistakes here and there on both ends and also both runners not getting Bedonk at all. And uh, especially with Ruxin coming up again, we had two top Ruxins and Shadow had some problems with uh, a proper top Ruxin, I would say. He lost, yeah, he kind of mitigated his top Ruxin more into a low Ruxin, unfortunately. So let's see, uh, since we are kind of synced um, again in this race, let's see how Catacombs will play out. Minfin going for butt boost, but gets boosted left again. So that means Minfin didn't reset his game again. So that it was kind of more a lucky, yeah, lucky coin flip that he was boosted right in Autumn Hills. And yeah, Shadow not going for butt boost at all, so he doesn't lose any time. Uh, both one us approaching our well, cycle reset room, but we will not see any cycle resets here because that strat is damn hard and not, uh, yeah, should not be used in race environments. Uh, I can only recommend that. Well, not and... sync actually on very similar pace right now. Yeah, it's. It's pretty close, I, I would say a couple of seconds. So Minfin went for Bob Boost. I'm actually interested in seeing if they get Badonkadonk as well. Level B. Yeah. So, um, approaching now the Monster Vader. Uh, both sides, I think, last time to the right side. Yeah, we will see that as well. Shadow, unfortunately, bonks the ceiling, so we'll lose a couple of seconds here. And yeah, now going into Bedonk. Minfin has some problems here. Unfortunately, the whistle placement wasn't that good. Oh. But yeah, Shadow just don't even... Uh, Shadow is not going for Bedonk at all. So... Kind of not losing any time. Uh, Minfin lost a couple of seconds and lost a lot of health due to the, the Donk setup. And also needs now to go for either the Fireball damage boost, that can be pretty risky if you're not experienced with that. Or yeah, just going for a sw uh, swing. So yeah, like Halfling was mentioning, uh, is mentioning in the chat, Pretty smart decision uh, as of now from Shadow not going for Bedonk at all because he didn't lose any time to that compared to Minfin who already I would assume lost up to 10 or more seconds to uh, the Bedonk setup and even lost time now due to missing health in Catacombs. Yeah, Shadow Sh has been making good decisions overall actually. 
Shadow Especially. unfortunately needs a way out the cycle in the boards of Sea Room, but but yeah, his decision making, like you just said, pretty smart right now. Yeah, I just remember in uh, Bamboo Creek, uh, he went right for the elevator. Yeah. Roxen, please. Spooky stuff, please. <laughs> okay. We have one low Roxen and, and one, one top Roxen. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this will, this will most potentially bring Minfin again in the lead. But uh, Shadow got a pretty decent low Luxon, so... Should be only a matter of couple of seconds right now. But we will yeah, see, this, this race is pretty open and... Last time we assumed it was kind of, uh, yeah, done for um, Shadow or done uh, done for Shadow. Shadow came up ahead, so yeah, the chances for uh, a third match are actually very high. Again, if uh, both players don't mess up uh, <laughs> extraordinarily. Oh, back again in Bamboo Creek. Bamboo boys, what's up? This is yeah. kind of a side note, but I think they're both dads, possibly. So I I don't know. The, when you know more than me, <laughs> I think bo both of these one uh, both of these runners are way before my time when I joined the Bamboo crew, so. I can't really tell, so I haven't really played or met Minfin yet, and same with Shadow. Well, as far as I remember, Minfin should be like end of 2019, and Shadow maybe end of 2020? Possibly? As far as I remember, that is. But we're <laughs> running up to end to skip, let's see how this goes. Uh, Shadow might be going for the same thing again, but Minfin. Infin going for N2, unfortunately doesn't get that. Shadow again for blue 2 and nails it first time. GG to Shadow. Yeah, and Minfin going for the elevator now after two unsu uh, unsuccessful approaches of N2. So yeah, again, Shadow kind of pays out for him that he is just going for... You would argue, yeah, it's the easier stuff, but he's doing that pretty consistent and he nails that, um, so... Man knows how to do a race, man. Go for the easy stuff. Or not easy, sorry. Uh, go for the safest stuff. And this time, Minfin is dropping in that room where Shadow died last time. So, yeah, the tables have turned in this point. But Minfin got through. Money-wise, both runners are looking pretty well. So, both which uh, Bamboo Boys should be fine for the shop coming up in Guado. And last time Minfin died to DK skip, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, yeah I, I think Shadow, was Shadow going for DK skip? Yeah, I think he was going for DK skip. So let's see how DK skip is coming up. Well, obviously in this stage we get the wing suit, which is obviously very important to us. Apparently of a squirrel clan, long past, but who knows? Shopkeeper is a very mysterious uh, person. <laughs> yeah, and we all love Shoppy. Best shopkeeper in the game, best messenger in the game. Shoppy is my queen. So, we have Shadow now coming closer and closer towards the DK skip, uh, DK, DK room, DK skip room, however you want to call that. And yeah, Minfin a bit behind by a couple of rooms, but I think one death can still be the decider right now in this race. So, Shadow unfortunately bonked uh, the ceiling there, so he will abort, yeah. Bonked again, so he just aborts DK skip. Smart decision, and 
Yeah, it only loses him a couple of seconds and should, still should be fine. So let's see how Minfin is going with DK skip. Oh. Nice boot. No, it doesn't get that, so needs to wait out the cycle, but at least he didn't die this time, so... Yeah, I recognize Smart decision to abort, just abort DK skip and take the time loss. Exactly. He's learning. <laughs> Pretty eat again. Let's see from Minpin. Eventually. Yeah, he will get there. <laughs> oh, I got a got a weird jump on the spikes on Minpin's side. But yeah, nice eat. Shadow approaching the air stream room. Pretty nice. Coming up to ammo at Golem soon. Yeah, there's nothing really to talk about as of right now here in uh, ho Holding Grotto on both ends, looking really solid. Well, as much as I remember of the shopkeeper stories, apparently so many messengers actually died to Emerald Golem, assumingly before Greed Demons actually, uh, I guess, teamed up with messengers, so that's kind of interesting. I don't even remember most of the stories from shopkeeper anymore. Really? So I think, yeah, I think it's so long time ago that I played this game casually, and afterwards I never really took this time again to read the lore and all of that. Shadow actually uh, counted correctly, but we were short in the wrong direction. So let's see how the second phase goes. Yeah, if he uh, if he is lucky, he will get a shuriken uh, at the beginning of the second phase, but. Could also be that, uh, depending on the pattern, this can end up pretty badly for him. But yeah, we will see now. So Shadow approaching second phase without any shurikens. Meanwhile, Minfin is making his way up towards the second phase of Emerald Golem. But yeah, Sh Shadow get a getting a solid left pattern. No Glacial. No Glacial this time. But I think the Glacial was on Minfin's, Minfin's side, right? Can't remember anymore. And Minfin got a pretty great pattern. Pretty low. Nice, nice. That's what we want to see. Good job, runners. But yeah, I think the only lore I kind of remember is the story about the, the dragons and the treasures they are protecting. And how this is related towards the... Yeah, the, the state of humanity and some feelings and all of that stuff. So I think that's the only story I kind of can remember. But besides that, I don't remember any shopkeeper stuff at all anymore. I am so heartbroken right now. <laughs> Come on, at least I want a music box. No, unfortunately what? not. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, you will be educated. Same room, hi. <laughs> yes, speed runners, we don't read here. Yeah. So, white room from both sides. Uh, Minfin doing a bit more T boost than uh, Shadow here, like last time. But I think both of them should be in a pretty good and accurate cycle. So, we shouldn't expect anything crucial here. Yeah, no welfare wingsuit from Shadow, uh, unfortunately, but yeah, I love to see welfares. Uh, shout out to 70 for mastering the welfare and the sin slash. Thank you, 70. And yeah, no welfares in this race at all. That's, that's sad, but yeah, can't, we can't do anything about it. And yeah, looking forward to Queen again. So last time we saw a left-right and a right-left pattern on both ends. So let's see how Queen will decide this match again in this, uh, in this ways. So as you were mentioning, this is still can be... A b yeah, we are in a best of three environment and right now we are pretty close. I mean, Shadow is in a small lead, but... 
we saw how easily this can be changed in Tower of Time. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's. I think it's really hard to tell right now who will take uh, if Shadow will take the two zero or if we will see a, a third race in this environment. Anything can happen. It's the point of a race. Consistency is the key, after all. And yeah, I think I think Shadow has gotten more practice uh, than Minfin, so that might be the decider here. But then again, again, it's a race. Hands up. I don't know anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, I think, like you were mentioning, Shadow played a bit more the last couple of days and weeks uh, compared to Minfin. But yeah, it's, uh, this can go either round. So, Shadow is in Queen fight now. Got a first to the left. Let's see if Queen is... Yeah, he got a good Queen at least. Left-right pattern, not the be uh, most awful state of a Queen. And no whip. Ah, he got the whips. Okay, I haven't oh. said anything. Commentator curse strikes again. <laughs> Commentator curse. So, Shadow got whips. That's a bit oh, bad. Oh, no. Do we have I mean, whips on both ends? We have whips on both ends. Queen is being fair, at least. <laughs> yeah, the Queen of Quills want to have a uh, uh, yeah, competitive ways, so she decides to go for whips on both ends. But yeah, that, that is demotivating as a runner. If you get whips of a Queen, it's... Uh... Um, Ivy cosplayer, yeah. Well, if Queen is feeling kinky, you can't do anything about it in the end. And we will get our beloved Rob Dart now and see Shadow approaching the Rob Dart action. Um, followed up by Minfin, who is yeah, getting his Rob Dart now from Shopee and approaching and yeah, following uh, behind Shadow towards Colors and Seuss. Last time, Colors and Seuss was more in favor of Minfin's side uh, in terms of a pattern. And I think also Shadow came out ahead uh, before approaching Colors and Seuss. So let's see how this cracks will end up with. Could I make a counter argument to you not liking cracks? Yes, please do. Please tell me a reason why I should love the stage. <laughs> so I don't uh, quite agree with the keyboard players with their reasons, but on a gameplay perspective, uh, the first stages are very horizontal. Cracks is the first stage to actually incorporate the very vertical climbing, uh, thanks to rope, tart, rope darts. And Glacial just goes completely vertical. So that's my... G and Poopa side is in at 70 is very correct. <laughs> so we, we saw a couple of mistakes, unfortunately, on Shadow's uh, end. But yeah, I don't know. And Oh god, people will hate me for that. Um... But I don't even like the uh, the music of Quacks. I think I think that the the Quacks music is one of the worst of the whole soundtrack. So hey. I don't know. Quacks is not. Hey. Uh, yeah, Quacks is not a pro, uh, <laughs> beloved by me at all. I just hate the stage. Okay, that was actually a joke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna shame you. <laughs> <laughs> Any, everyone is entitled to their own opinions. It's okay. I mean, I for example, I play 10 times more Riviere than this stage, because Riviere is so, uh, way cooler than this garbage of a stage. Agreed. Riviere is so cool. Also, let's see this call of Zeus's. Okay, yeah, Colors and Seuss, we have a border on the left, we had we have a charge on the right. Um, looking good so far on, uh, on Shadow's side, damage-wise. So, will he be finished? Will he get another attack? No, Shadow's going for Colors and Seuss is pretty smooth. I think Minfin doesn't have the best pattern, to be honest, but also finishing up. Never mind. And Seuss is but being I think very interesting. I think on both ends this should be 
Um, kind of in the minute or less than a minute area, if I'm not mistaken. And shove it please in the chat, we are approaching Glacier again, so I forgot to mention it. Shadow has a few issues approaching that first wall, that first cursed wall in Glacier. Um, same on Minfin's not... side. Oh, no. Yeah, that wall and that uh, wall jump is just cursed. The beginning does not define the end, it is fine. So. Runner to the rail. Let's see. So let's see a poor Minfin approaching GP07. Also, pretty difficult room if you want to be fast. And especially these kind of changes between the ice or snow physics and the. Uh, Ice physics can be pretty crucial in your climbing sometimes, so Glacier is hard. Glacier is pretty hard. But yeah, so far looking good on both ends. Um, Shadow still with a small lead here. I would... No, no, Minfin, no. unfortunately, but kind of still can get back Shadow. to it. Oh my god, Shadow. Shadow almost died twice. But fine. Shadow is really playing with Quabble here right now, so we don't want to see Quabble here. We haven't seen him yet, so please, no Quabble this time. Quabble, we love you. Please keep saving us, but please don't, don't, don't be there. So, uh, both runners doing a pretty good ice climbers. Uh, Coming to the teleport now. Shadow's the first one of our two runners approaching the teleport. Nice TP. Last Can't time, Minf just... last time Minfin didn't get it, but gets the TP as well. Two nice TPs. Yeah, so Shadow got it twice, and Minfin just got it now. Good job. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching the Tower of Time Lords, Tower of Tears, Tower of Lasers. We, yeah. Hardest stage in the game if you want to go fast. Yeah, true. There is a slight lead change, but again, tower time. Yeah. Tower of trauma, yeah. So, will, will we see another approach of Minfin going for Hell Mary? Last time he kind of yeah didn't pay out and uh, Shadow came ahead by not going for Hail Mary at all. So let's see how this Hail Mary goes for Minfin if he will do it. So if I'm so afraid I'm gonna jinx it. Yeah, I th I think that's just my thing right now. <laughs> ah, Minfin, Minfin touching the spikes. Ah, that's. And also kind of missed the, the crystal views, so we are pretty synced right now. And both runners will not go for Hail Mary now, so... Shadow will... should be a little bit ahead. Yeah, will Minfin go for Hail Mary Jr.? Nope, he will not. I'm not sure he knows it yet. Yeah, I think most... Even I don't know how to do Hail Mary Jr. I know that there's a strat called like that. But to be honest, I don't know how to do it. Minfin actually got the broke dart this time. Uh... Yeah, Shadow as well. How is the minus dart? Looking good on Shadow's side. Minfin missing the Min rope dart. And dying to the lasers, oh no! no! Oh my, this is such a bad spot to die, unfortunately. Oh, and the cloud slap on Shadow, well this is disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, and also Minfin, he doesn't have the health now, unfortunately. So if you don't go for, I uh, mean, he does uh, didn't go for Hail Mary anyway, so he can't even benefit from not going for Hail Mary at all. Shadow getting the HP drop, so he can go for laser boost again. Uh, he did laser boost last tower and it was uh, looking pretty good, so I think he will go for laser boost again. 
And yeah, this is pretty rough. No. Top. And Minfin dying to the Kuni Psyker. Oh my god. Poor Minfin. Oh, poor it, guy. It's just, it's kind of the same spot he died in the last tower. And it's... yeah, Shadow, Shadow got laser boost. It's just the lack of practice. It's all it is. Kuni, you yeah. bastard! <laughs> Minfin is strong, Minfin is strong and bringing it to fruition. Yeah, it's, this is rough. Poor, poor Minfin. He played so well up until that point in both runs. And yeah, kind of the same. Died, unfortunately, in the same areas, kind of. This is this is brutal, unfortunately. So Shadow approaching Ohos, just taking the swing as last time. And I, I think that's kind of... Uh, also, uh, to be honest, I think that's kind of it for... It should be pretty... Oh, Minfin dying again? Oh no! Oh! No! Yeah, I think... Unfortunately, I think that's a win for Shadow. Uh, if nothing really bad happens to the Arcane. Shows how oh no oh. shows how important got dealt oh checkpoint checkpoint. Minfin can't get past that uh, checkpoint right now. It's always kind of yeah touching the spikes or getting crushed unfortunately. At the same time, a good very good tower time on Shadow. Let's see how this uh, arcane golem goes. Hype hype, pachi pachi. Shadow pretty close to his PB right now. Yeah, very close actually, you're right. I think it was a 32 or 7, I, I don't think he will PB, but it's yeah. Uh, shout out to Shadow and also um, when he finishes up GG towards him for that consistency. So he played pretty damn good besides... But yeah, he GG to Shadow 3213. That is a plus nine, I believe. Yeah, it should be. Uh, let me check what was this PB Shadow. Yeah, 3204, that's a plus nine uh, apart from his PB. Shout out to Shadow. Pretty solid performance in this uh, race. And yeah. also, yeah, that was the decider. So GG again to Shadow. 2 0, I think, right? Correct. Yeah. Congratulations are in order. And, but yeah, of course we will wait out now until Minfin is approaching Arcane and finishes up this uh, awesome race between these two amazing runners. I just love the slash jumps. Yeah, I think I think this uh, the last climb in tower can be pretty intimidating, especially if you're on oh, PB course. I'm Laser sorry skip. for interrupting. <laughs> laser skip, yeah. Sorry for interrupting. We we saw a laser skip, nice. At least Minfin doing some uh, some swag for the fans. Going out for bang. And Minfin approaching Arcane Golem now. Will we see a 15 second Arcane Golem? It could happen. Arcane, stop applauding. It's okay. Yeah, Arcane not really uh, clapping too much today. GG, GG! To with a 33 54 